you are trying to do remote control on an iPhone. You can see I have the annotation here, but when I try and initiate a remote control request, it's saying it's been declined. You won't be able to accept remote control requests from recently added contacts. So in order to fix this, the first step is to verify on the iPhone that you want to be able to remote control, that you open the contacts app, and you need to make sure you've added a contact for the Apple ID which you're using to FaceTime. Once you've done that, we're gonna open settings and we wanna head into general and then we're gonna head into date and time and we just need to set the date a day forward. So turn off set automatically, tap on the date and then just move it one day forward. And so once that's done, we'll try the remote control again. <laughs> and you can see it's very poor security. We now got around that block in seconds. So we have the remote control. We can tap on allow. And now I can use the remote control. So my iPhone on the left is now controlling the iPhone on the right. So boom, there we go. You can do all that fun stuff. It really is that simple. But one thing to note is you know right now I can go into the settings and I can actually set my date and time automatically again. If you don't leave the set as automatic, then sometimes websites and stuff break, so just keep that in mind. In a day's time, it will auto fix itself. You know, you won't be able to, you won't have to change the date and time. But until then, you will have to change the date every time you want to use this feature. And it works until you tap the stop.